Good evening, I'm Greg Floyd. Hi everyone, I'm Liz Bishop. We have new information to a story we first brought you at 10 tonight. Around 15 people have been displaced after a large fire in Albany tonight. This broke out at a discount store on South Pearl Street after 8 o'clock tonight. Our Craig Smith has been there for a while now. He joins us live from the scene. And Craig, the people displaced did not live above the store in the building on fire, right? That's right, Greg. They lived uh, in a building uh, which really used to be a second building, according to Chief Warren Averill. But for firefighting purposes, they're considering it the same building. You're, you're really looking at it. You couldn't tell it's a different building. But uh, the fire started to get in there, according to the chief. But they knocked it out with some water. That water did cause some damage to those apartments. So they're, be, they're going to be a temporarily displaced tonight. The Red Cross is helping them out. Now, there is some other new information. Take a look here. Before we show you the video that we shot earlier, this wall here on uh, 4th Avenue facing us, there is uh, some indication it's possible that might come down. Uh, there's a risk of collapse there. I, I haven't been able to gauge or get from the firefighters uh, to what degree it, uh, there, what, how high the risk is of the collapse, but it's something they're looking at. You can see them uh, squirting water, spraying water in through that one open window there. That's been going on steady for the last 10, 15 minutes or so. Now let's take a look at what this looked like while it was burning. This is uh, probably around quarter to nine or so, nine o'clock. It was going pretty strong in there. This is uh, South Pearl Street, intersection with 4th Avenue. Vacant above, but down below on the first floor is where there is a discount and variety store. The owner said he's been there about 12 years, and he said when he first noticed this, he was in there tonight with some customers, and they started to smell something that smelled like plastic. So he started to look around, and other people told him he better call for some help. Ten. To call the police, I see the second floor and the third floor already smoking a lot. When they just started, they come, they just come in from upstairs. When companies arrived, they found heavy fire coming through the roof and out all the top windows on the fourth Avenue side and all the windows on the Pearl Street side. We had fire that was extending to that little lower building on the B side. Uh, we got in there real quick. They were up on the roof. They cut some holes and stopped it from going through the cock lock. Now, the owner told me that he believes that somebody set the fire, and he said he thinks that's the case because as he walked around on the first level trying to find the source of the fire, he couldn't find it. He went up to the higher levels. He says he found a third floor window open, so he suspects someone possibly came in to set the fire or possibly threw something in through that window to get this building going tonight. He said he's got about $200,000 invested in the building over the last 12 years or so. Mayor Kathy Sheehan was here consoling him to some degree. She was here briefly. The fire chief said they don't know anything yet about a cause. He certainly hasn't said anything about whether this is arson. Uh, it's still early stages. They're still trying to knock the fire out on the inside and to try to do anything they can, which is you know, really very little in a case like this, to try to make sure that one facing wall uh, doesn't come down here tonight. We're live in Albany, Craig Smith, CBS 6 News.